welcome all of you to another uh, session by pathfinder for me today i am going to analyze ipmat paper 2022 so primarily we will be discussing two things number one the paper pattern and what type of questions came the level of difficulty and number two the actual cutoffs of this particular paper so first things first if you are preparing for IPMAT 2023, we have a fantastic course, IPMAT Classic. Uh, batches are starting from 25th of July and 1st of August. You're welcome to inquire with us. There are live doubt classes, live classes also, recorded videos, ebooks, 20 mock tests, 30 topic wise tests, section tests, sessions on GK and general studies and the CUET preparation is included as a part of this package. So if you are preparing for 2023, this is one of the best uh, courses that you'll find online. If you're looking for some free resources, please do subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. We come out with strategy related sessions on this channel and for content related uh, sessions, we do come out on Mend Your Math. And if you have any queries, any questions regarding our courses or regarding IPMAT preparation, you can contact us on any of these numbers. Use WhatsApp and uh, you know ask your question. Next. So first and first, foremost, IPMAT IIM Indoor Paper Summary. It was on the expected lines, very much announced. Uh, 15 questions of short answer type and you had a sectional time limit of 40 minutes then there were there was another question section on qu quantitative aptitude which was of MCQ type which had 30 questions with a sectional time limit of 40 minutes and there was a third section which had 45 questions and there was a sectional time limit of 40 minutes now mind you the questions in material the raw score while being converted into the aptitude test score the weightage for quantitative aptitude short answer and mcq was 25 25 and the weightage for verbal ability was was 50 the marking scheme remained minus 4 a uh, plus 4 and minus 1 for the mcq questions and there was negative marking in para jumbles which were again in the form of theta but there was negative marking in para jumble questions Next, looking at the sectional analysis, verbal ability, you had reading comprehension, you had fill in the blanks, questions related to parajumbles, theta type, that means there were no options in parajumble questions, you had idioms and phrases, you had inappropriate words, you had word arrangement. Now, verbal ability section was mostly easy. So, there were 12 questions in reading comprehension. Reading comprehension was moderate, but apart from reading comprehension, all the other questions were mostly easy. Uh, I think even the para jumble questions were or towards the moderate side, but fill in the blanks was simple, idioms and phrases were simple, inappropriate words were simple, and word arrangement were also simple questions. On the whole, I would call this section as easy in terms of level of difficulty is concerned barring I think questions on para jumbles which were slightly on the higher side of difficulty uh, the difficulty level I would rate as moderate next we move on to the quantitative aptitude MCQ questions what appeared here there were questions on probability permutation combinations around two questions two to three questions number theory there were two questions arithmetic eight questions now there were questions on SI, CI, there, was, there were questions on uh, percentage, on average, on time and work, on time and distance and so on. This is what arithmetic comprises. Algebra, we had seven questions. Higher maths, there were four questions and set theory, around one to two questions. Plus, there was an LR set like there was last year. This year too, there was a reasoning set which had five questions. Again, the difficulty level of this I would rate as moderate. There would have been some difficult questions. So if there were 30 questions here, I would say around 10 were easy to manage. 
another 10 were moderate or maybe 15 were moderate, 4 5 were difficult out of 30 questions. Now, now that, that was the breakup of these 30 questions. Then next we have short answer type QA questions which had 2 questions of number theory, uh, 5 questions from algebra, 5 questions from arithmetic and 3 questions from higher maths. Once again you would find around 5 questions which were easy, around 5 questions that were moderate and around 5 questions that were difficult. So very uh, nice breakup of easy, moderate and difficult questions. Although I believe that the cutoff would be, would have been, you know, dictated by the easy questions, people who were able to solve easy and some of the moderate questions. So this is what appeared in the paper. Now let's have a look at this year's actual cutoff. So the actual number of students seems to have been around 18 to 20,000. Applicants who secured a positive raw score this year was around 12,553 of which 7,486 were boys and 5,067 were girls. Uh, I think this was this difference is because more number of boys appeared for the test than girls. Number of students shortlisted for PI 840 out of which 309 were for from the general category. 76 from the EWS category, NCOBC 238, uh, Handicapped 30, SC 134 and ST 53. Now what about the minimum scores, the minimum ATS for general category 48.44, maximum ATS for general category 86.52, minimum and maximum ATS for the other segments are given here, EWS minimum is 29.73, NCOBC minimum is 19.3, physically handicapped minimum is 6.89, SC minimum is 10.93 and ST minimum is 2.33. Similarly, maximum aptitude test score, ATS stands for aptitude test score, EWS 68.71, NCOBC 67.36, physically handicapped 60.26, SC 81.10 and ST 44.98. So these were the actual minimum and maximum aptitude test scores in each of the category. Now let us look at the actual cutoffs. For general category QA short answer type the cutoff was 20, QA MCQ the cutoff was 43 and the verbal ability section the cutoff was 112. These are actual cutoffs. For EWS the corresponding figures are 8, 29 and 86 for NCOBC category 8 21 and 70 SC 4 8 and 50 and PWD 4 8 and 34 are the actual cutoffs so that's all for this video if you have any queries if you have any questions regarding IPMAT preparation 2023 or 2024 our batches starting on 25th of July and 1st of August. If you have any queries, you can inquire with us on 93439-21347. Thank you.